Hey y'all, Brent here with your anime and manga news for the week ending August 24th, 2009. Sort of a Gundam-y week, more on that in a second. Meanwhile, uh, Ponyo continues its meteoric fall collapse in the ratings. Uh, it's down to number 12 uh, on, in, the, uh, in the movie ratings, uh, having made just over $8 million so far in its U.S. Uh, release. On the other hand, this makes it the seventh highest grossing anime film in U.S. history. Yeah. Uh, that makes it ahead of Howl's Moving Castle. <laughs> uh, in other movie news, Northrop Davis, who is a producer in Hollywood, uh, he sold Battle Angel Alita to James Cameron. Uh, he's also pitching some other anime to Hollywood, uh, including, check out this list, Berserk. Kind of makes sense. You know, high-powered fantasy. Uh, Train Man. Densha Otoko, you know, otaku falls in love with a normal girl and tries to, you know, woo her despite being a weird otaku. I don't know how that's going to work in America or how it would. Grappler Baki, eh. And uh, Barefoot Gen, the heartwarming story of a boy who lives through Hiroshima. What? I, uh, I don't know. Uh, now these, these are all just being pitched. Nobody's bought it yet. He's just trying to, trying to see if anyone in Hollow was interested, but it's just not coming together. Good. Uh, although Berserk, I would see. Uh, more information on the next Gundam series. Gundam Unicorn will be a six-episode OVA. Uh, in case you're wondering, it's called Gundam Unicorn because the Gundam has a big horn. Um, each episode will be 50 minutes long. That's 5-0. Expect it next spring on DVD and Blu-ray. And it looks like it'll be a simultaneous worldwide release. It'll be cool. Um, according to Anime Nation, uh, the author of the original novel says that the OVA will be slightly different than the novels but it'll incorporate everything fans have been wanting to see, including, and I'm totally serious, a character named Full Frontal. Yes! Um, in other mecha news, Gundam's corporate parent Bandai announced that their Bandai Channel website, uh, which is this big meta portal of, of Bandai stuff, will go international in 2010. Right now it's, it's locked down to just Japan. Uh, they're planning to stream a whole slew of stuff on there, probably a good chunk of the Gundam franchise. They've already got the original Mobile Suit Gundam on there, but again, it's still only in Japan. So hopefully in the new year, we'll get a whole bunch of Bandai stuff on there. And I mean, they've got Code Geass and just, you know, huge amounts of stuff. Um, heck, I think Bandai even has, has Macross. They don't have Hatsune Miku, though, I think. And Hatsune Miku is the virtual idol. Um, basically, she's a software program uh, which combines audio from a particular singer. And you can sort of compose music with this singer in it. She had her first live performance last Saturday. Uh, they put up this huge screen on the back of a stage for a standing room only audience of 25,000 fans for Virtual Idol. Yes, you're, you're not in the Macross Plus universe. This is, this is real. Um, and once her show was done, she, she, she sang two songs. They uh, displayed a promo for an upcoming uh, Hatsune Miku anime called the Black Rock Shooter Project. And uh, the anime will be produced by several alumni from Haruhi and Lucky Star, which makes sense. I mean, there's a Hatsune Miku costume uh, reference in Lucky Star, so big shock there. Uh, something weird, though, is going on in the world of Yu-Gi-Oh! 4Kids has confirmed that they've had to stop streaming all Japanese-dubbed episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! due to a, quote, rights issue in Japan. And not, end quote, and not just streaming. Like, they can't do DVDs anymore of this. It's just, like, shut down of just of Japanese dubbed episodes of original Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, not 5D, not GX, just Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! Eh. Um, but apparently that's just stopped. Um, uh, but, some sort of good and bad news about DVD and Blu-ray sales. Um, you can thank anime, in fact, for the success of Blu-ray in Japan. According to a report from Japanese-based AV Watch, over half of all Japanese Blu-ray sales for the first half of 2009 were anime. Over half of all Blu-ray sales in Japan, anime. Um, and uh, Blu-ray sales increased to $89 million US for that period in, in, in Japan. Uh, however, the overall market for discs has shrunk. DVD sales dropped 20% in cash value compared to the same time the previous year. So the market as a whole is shrinking. And indeed, the market for like media in general shrank by 2%, I think. Uh, in, in general, so still not looking too too good, although yeah, shrinking by 2% during a recession is not too bad. But new anime comes out anyway, particularly there's a trailer for the new Tales of Symphonia anime, uh, it's on its official website, head on over to ova-tos.com, check that out, looks pretty. Uh, a new Hitamari sketch anime is in the work, this will be the third Hitamari sketch, 
Um, it's about uh, four girls at an arts school, arts college. So they're doing you know, arts projects and so forth. It's kind of interesting. Um, do a goofy, fun comedy. Slice of life. Anime News Network has an interview with the creators of Ice Shield 21, which is a very popular uh, manga and anime as well. Um, it is the creators of, of the manga. So, in, you know, why they're influenced, why do football, and that kind of stuff. Uh, Sci-Fi had a bit of a, a surprise. Um, their uh, Anna Monday block will be showing Monster, the anime Monster, starting in October, which I guess makes sense for Halloween. Uh, it'll be basically two episodes a week on Monday uh, through October, so it'll be neat to see. Uh, oh, a bit, bit, uh, bit more news from Japan. So the 76th Comiket was this past weekend. In case you don't know, Comiket is short for Comic Market. It's one of the big, well, it's the biggest con in Japan. It's focused on doujinshi fan comics. Um, to get a, a sense of the scale, imagine the biggest con in America, biggest con you've ever seen. Increase that by about 20 times. Comic at 76 drew over half a million people in three days. 560,000 people. Now, there's some double counting in there and, and such because of how they, they track things. But hundreds of thousands of people showed up for Comic Cat all buying hentai doujinshi. Not all, but yeah, really, all hentai doujinshi. Um, at least that's what Comic Cat's always known for. Doujinshi, doujinshi, wow, that's, they're really having sex. Anyway, um, yeah, so Comic Cat uh, uh, broke records again this year, which is a good thing. It, it indicates that the market is still healthy and people are still you know going out and buying things and and there's uh you know still hope out there so that's it for the news this week uh until next week remember this one dreams are dreams because they're endless <laughs>